Korea 1952 server again. This fellow in the uh, MIG in front of me has flown one of these in real life. More than a little, apparently. That's just amazing. Yeah, it's weird. Like each time I uh, I come to the server, my uh, my views are set to def uh, to default again. What do you mean by views? It seems to be that the server is kind of forcing the uh, the config to uh, de uh, to default. I correct my uh, my role and uh, you know when you move to very very low. And on this server, when I move uh, the head, it's very uh, wide. On your track IR? Or are you in VR? No, no, I'm VR. Uh. Yeah, I can't okay. help much with VR issues because I haven't used it yet. Oh, yeah. All I know is VR people have so many problems. Well, it's just in certain forced server, really. Lights off for combat and arm your guns. Is there someone else? Pardon me? Is there someone else on the server? Yeah, turtles on the other side. Okay. Let's head for Bullseye, and uh, I'm sure we'll find them in the con trails. So I cannot see the map. So what's the what's the heading? Uh, heading one eight zero should do it. Good again. If we head about one eight zero, or you can okay. tune your arc to um, three seven eight. The contrails start at about 7.2 kilometers altitude and they end at about 12 kilometers. Mm, yeah. That's okay. With the MiG, you don't want to go too high. Yeah, I like to hang out just below the contrail altitude. Man, I suck to uh, aiming with this uh, on the MiG. Great to finally fly with you. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, also for me to uh, to fly. It's uh, you know I fly a lot of IL too. What's your location? I'm just on your low five o'clock. Low five. The signal flares really help in these planes. You can uh, yeah. help to call your friends over for help, or if you're coming into a merge with someone who you don't know it is, you can let them know. What's your RPM setting? Uh, 10,000. Thank you. I have a full tank. I'm flying dirty. Yep, same here. Oh, I thought I had drop tanks, but I do not. Oh, no, you don't have. 
They must have changed the mission. <laughs> I didn't even check. Well, at least I'll be nice and light for when we go into combat. <laughs> yeah. If we can, if we can see the guy. I'm sure we will. Turtle is a great guy to fight against. I think I did already once, uh, like last week. Right. It's pretty clear day. Yeah, I wonder if they changed back to the other mission. Might be what's going on, why I was confused. You probably, uh, your, your views probably, your sight is probably uh, much higher than mine. Yeah, I used to have, uh, you know, started in Switch Arts and then after that, uh, Troika 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5. Uh, sorry, what was that? When, when did you start it to, uh, to fly uh, online? Oh, like 1998. With, uh, with what? Which, uh, which version? With Warbirds. Warbirds. Warbirds <laughs> was the first massively multiplayer uh, online uh, flight simulator. Yeah, I remember. They used to have they used to have hundreds of people. There was only one server run by the company, but there would be hundreds of people in it at a time. Yeah. And we were all on telephone modems, and everything worked fine. You never saw planes sink into the runway or anything like that. Yeah. Now, they didn't have nearly as much data to, to communicate because the planes were simpler. We didn't see each other's control surfaces move, stuff like that. Yeah. But still, it, it's, you know, orders of magnitude better now. It just so it, uh, the internet should have improved more than the amount of data that we're sending. Okay, there's a, I see the, the coastline. copy that. If I wasn't in formation with you, I could uh, tune the arc to uh, 378 and head to the bullseye, but I, wish, I imagine we'll see him here soon. I put my arc at 370, yeah, do something. Yep, it should be 378 for bullseye. Yeah. Okay, where is he? I don't know, but he's in trouble. <laughs> For once, we have the numbers. Yeah, I really love the Korean, uh, Korean War. I do like flying the Sabre as well, but the, the MiG just feels so much more real to me. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. Much better than before. Yeah, I think it's my favorite DCS jet. Yeah. I'm really into the helicopters too. Uh, DCS turned me into a rotor head. Oh yeah, no, it's cool. Oh, I suck so bad. I have, I have some, yeah. Happy to spend some time with you and pass on what little I know. Yeah, that's cool. I flew maybe three times only, for real, in the helicopter. In real life? In, inside, yeah. 
Yeah, I've gone for lots of helicopter rides. I grew up uh, with a father in the Air Force back in the days when they used to be able to take us for rides. Oh, that's cool. But I've never flown a, a real aircraft, at least not one that I'm uh, uh, that was big enough for me to get in. I used to fly radio control when I was a teenager. You know, flying is not uh, it's not difficult at all. What's difficult is uh, radio. <laughs> yes, that's where I expect I would have most of the difficulty in the uh, the radio language. It's hard for me to talk as is. So it, actually, this is really good practice flying DCS and talking at the same time. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Even well, I never the, do. Even the videos that I've been doing, uh, talking to the audience at home while I fly, is helpful to me. But you know, actually, your your video I checked very, very, very nice. I like it a lot, though. Thanks. You speak well. You speak clear. Unlike me, you know, it's perfect. Really. I have no problem understanding you. Okay, right. there's a the base below, and uh, your English is much better than my French. <laughs> Do you speak uh, just English? Um, un petit peu. Le français. No Spanish? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, other than what I picked up off American TV. <laughs> yeah. No yeah, they, they give us like a French class in Canadian schools, but uh, it's not really designed to teach you to speak French. Oh, the Canadian, yeah, yeah. But they, I'm, turning, uh, I'm turning left, I'm going towards the coast and going down the coast. Roger that, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, I, so you're Canadian? Yes, sir, I'm in Toronto. Oh, cool, cool, okay. So yeah, it's, it's annoying the way they, they don't teach us French. They gave our high school f uh, French test to uh, actual Parisian students and they all failed it because it was such obscure grammar. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the, the French Canadian, it's not, uh, it's not perfect either. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. They, they teach us Parisian French so that we okay. can't talk to the French Canadians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Parisian. I'm from the south. Cool. Yeah, I'm very close to the Spanish border. So I spend a lot of time in Spain. Cool. How long have you been living in North America? Uh, quite on and off, quite some time here in Oregon for the past uh, seven years. But I know, I know uh, the U.S. since uh, the earthquake of San Francisco. Wow. Spend my time in Africa and the U.S. So I spend more time outside uh, France. So Roy Stockton. I'm going down a little bit. Copy. I just started on my second tank of fuel here, so I don't have too much playtime. I made a mistake. Oh yeah. But whatever. It's just a game. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's more than that. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool. It is more than that. You learn a hell of a lot in this yeah. simulator. So I'm going toward the base, the, the other base. Actually, their base, I think. Yeah, they're at Gudada. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, more toward the ocean. So we'll have the base on the left side. Copy that. Uh, except we yeah. probably won't. Uh, Meet uh, turtle there. Oh, actually, let me check and see if the uh, EW, yep. e EWR is working. I think it probably isn't in this mission. <laughs> sorry about that. Whoa! <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. Mixed up. 
I got messing with the text radio and just about smashed into you. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this this is something you don't do in a real life. In real life, you feel your, you know you feel your airplane, so you know when you go up and down. Yeah, so. it, it would it would feel like being on a roller coaster. Yeah, so you know exactly when you move or not. Exactly. It it's good that we have cockpit shadows, although right now in the lighting conditions I can't really see them. But sometimes that can uh, clue yeah. you in that your the attitude is changing as well. Oh yeah. Oh, I've lost you all of a sudden. Can I get a flare? Try to see if there's activity down there. Technically, we're... Uh, Maybe uh, an aircraft? Uh, I don't know. Technically, we're not supposed to attack their base. Also, there's yeah, a whole, whole bunch of flak down there. Yeah, yeah, that's why I go to the ocean. And, uh, yeah, I've lost you. If you could throw out a flare... Oh, I see him on our six high. Go for it. I am climbing up to him. My heading is uh, one two four. Oh, or, I see or, so, sorry, sorry, two four zero. Yeah, he's way up there. Yeah, he's too high. I don't know if you see me. I'll give you a red flare here in three, two, one. Flare. Mm, negative. No. Nope. I'm going to I'm going to my heading. It's uh, 300 actually. Copy that. I'm trying to get a bit in front of him. I am nice and light on fuel, so I'll take him first, and uh, you can join the fight when you see us. Double check that your guns are armed. Okay, I'm right underneath him, turning to match his heading. Oh, he's dropped his tanks. Yeah, I see him. I'm now on his low five o'clock, a uh, couple thousand feet below him. And I'm conning, you can see me now. Roger, I see you. I'm higher than you, actually. I'm, I'm at your, uh, like, uh, 7 o'clock high. Excellent. Whoa. I did a pass on me. Yep, I saw that. I saw you drop your tanks. That's good because I almost followed you. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot. Are you the one on my six? Uh, negative. I'm chasing oh, him. We just went down out of the uh, cons. He's climbing again. Probably going to enter cons right about now. Yeah, this is way high. That's where most of the fights at least start in here. Yeah. The, the Sabres love it up here. I know, that's why you have to drag him down. Yes, sir. All right, I'm right behind him. Yeah, he's turning on me.
And yeah, you can usually tell the sabers from the MIGs because the sabers have much darker smoke. Yep. I'm above him on his high six. I lost. Flare in three, two, one, yellow flare. Sorry, that was a green flare. I finally mapped my flares to buttons on my throttle, so I don't need to look into the cockpit oh, to yeah. use them. What's your altitude? Uh, eight kilometers, exactly climbing. Uh, I'm jump at 4K. Oh, no, sorry, incorrect. Um, just coming up through seven kilometers. I'm not sure where I got eight there. Seven K shoot up the trail. I got it. I'm below. Copy. Yep, on me. Yes, he is. If you uh, turn right, that'll help. Thank you. Yeah, almost on these six. Okay, I'm on him now. Whoa, we almost glided. Oh, he, he actually hit me. <laughs> Only six. I see. Go down. Going down. Can't shoot for shit. He's very hard with the settings. Yeah, it takes a long time to get everything just right. I'm on his six. Too fast overshooting. Got him. Nice work. I see flying. Yep, he is. I'm uh, in on him now. Go ahead. Try to uh, just go straight. Missed. Feel a bit sorry for him. Uh, 
but then this is a war. Wow. Oh, I'm blacked out. I am really blacked out. I might die. Go. Still blacked out. No, he's, I'm okay. He's gone. He's gone. Very good. I'm RTB. Very nice. Oh, well there he is. Point. Yep. And I see one shoot. The problem is, it's uh, they um, they boost on the turn. They should not boost. The sabers. Any, any aircraft. The the, the turn rate of the Meg. So much better when you don't boost. What do you mean by boost? You uh, reduce your RPM. If you force your airplane to uh, something with the props, if you go on the turn, I, I can now turn the F86 uh, easy. Just go uh, eight, nine. Don't go fast, and then you out turn anything. What do you think the best turn uh, indicated airspeed is in this? Oh, it's hard. Don't really know. I've never looked. Six, five, five, six. Yeah, I'm under, the, I'm under the impression it's around six as well. Yeah, you, you don't want to fly below that, but five is okay. Uh, the thing is, the MiG is very sluggish when you go slow, but it's also an advantage. Copy because that. Because it's it's sluggish. And then if you like a Cessna, but it's still controllable. I wonder but if I'm going to be able to make cape uh, uh, make up. I've got about uh, uh, 280 liters, climbing hard. What's your heading? Uh, heading is 350. If you go like, uh, you know, 85, be okay. RPM? Yeah, you don't need to go fast. Yeah, but I do need to get up into the thin air or I'm going to have no chance. Yeah. Altitude is currently. Uh, oh, I'm way up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 2K right now. Yeah, I'm up above the cons. Or am I? Wait a second. No, I'm only at four. Sorry. This altimeter gets confusing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm concerned I'm so low. Yeah, I'm going to try to go base too. Yeah, I fly a lot of uh, Russian plane, you know, even on IL-2. I like all of them, and I like any plane really, but uh, I'm much more specialized in the, in the Russian. Roger that. It's just because it's, uh, it's it's funny because the the ergonomic of the cockpit is very uh, close to the French one, so I feel uh, right home. Easy. Too many buttons though. <laughs> so who's shoes. who's MiG fifteen did you get to fly? Man, that's a long time ago. And of in you know, just after the earthquake, uh, uh, James uh, Wickersham is basically uh, shaped three USA imported uh, MiG. Uh, through China, actually, but um, they were prohibited, you know. And after that, uh, we started uh, Yakovlev in uh, Russia. Beautiful. Did so um, did he do the air show circuit with him? Oh yeah. Oh no, the first one. Yeah, 
one of the first ones you could show that you can do a hammerhead in a, on jets like this. <laughs> nice. Jump, James. This is my kind of my uh, older brother. Uh, uh, then we start to fly a lot because it's uh, you go to stroke. I am and, not uh, going to make it home. <laughs> Landing is fun. Yeah, hopefully, I can at least make it to friendly territory. Even better if I can land on a road and save the jet. Oh yeah. I like Does to pretend. I like to pretend it's real. Of course. Of course. That's the fun part of it. That's fun. Yep. Passing through seven kilometers, I should start conning any second now. I'm in contrails. Heading 330 and uh, cutting Let's back see. on my RPM and my climb. Just glide, easy. Yeah, I love it. I really love it. It's so therapeutic, you know. When you miss something, it's good to uh, to fly and uh, know and do things you don't do in real life, like shooting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I suppose there was no gun sight in the uh, Megu flu. Uh, yes. Oh, there was. Yeah. Nice. No, no weapon. No, nothing. Did the gun sight work? Yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Even on the yak. They're huge. Not the bigger. They seem small here, but the the real one is uh, so huge piece. Yeah. I do like having the reticle, even when I'm not fighting, just to kind of use as a point of reference. Exactly. Uh, many pilots, you know, when they fly uh, replicas and stuff, they they don't do it. They don't put it on because it's uh, uh, you know when you land, it's in your face. So. It's yeah, exactly. That's what I'm always trying to tell Kermit Weeks. He needs to get his gun sights working. <laughs> it's fun. I hope I can see the base. Still quite a ways to go. I'm over the center of the mountain range at least. I call that uh, the enemy lines, so I'd say we're in friendly ter territory. Yeah, I think I'm not very far behind. I can give you a yellow flare in three, two, one. Man. They are hard to see. They are just like a pixel now. They used to be brighter. They should be, yeah. Man, 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 man. Except if you turn on your light. Ah, good idea. That's what I do. Lights on. Not that there's much you can do for me, but you can provide moral support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to land.
Oh, I bet Tata is gonna come. Yeah, Turtle might come get me uh, while I'm limping home here. It's really good to uh, tactics, you know, uh, fly one high. Dude. Yep, out of fuel. <laughs> out of fuel. Oh, you're out of fuel before me. Wow. It's just right now, yeah. I've right, still got about, uh, what is that, 80 liters. Yeah, out of fuel in the mountain. Oh, good luck. Our, uh, there's a bug currently we can't eject unless you depressurize the cockpit and open the canopy. That will eject you. Yeah, yeah. Is that how it works in real life? Well, I never ejected. <laughs> <laughs> but, not. but you must have known the procedure. <laughs> yeah. Now you want to prepare your canopy. Oh, so you don't just hit an eject handle? You have to uh, depressurize and open the canopy first? Yep. Oh, maybe it's n not a bug. Might be a feature yep. then. But depend. I don't know about the, the Korean version, or the Chinese version, or the Russian. No, they're different. Were you flying a two-seater or a single-seater? Uh, both. Nice. But it was a Korean. Cool. I see a contrail on my high five o'clock. I'm not me. He's coming to get us. He's mad. He did pretty good. He did very well, though. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about uh, about the communications. Oh yeah. And taking your time and not making dumb mistakes. Okay, I'm going to try to find a hill to, uh, I'm going to try to do a bush, uh, a bush landing on this thing. Good luck. I'm doing one in a few minutes myself, but I've got a while here. <laughs> I wish I could watch, but I'll watch it later on the track replay. Man, so many trees. I'm down to the final notch on my fuel gauge. I think I actually see make hop up ahead, but I don't think I'll make it. Only at five kilometers altitude. Lights off. Oh man, that's gonna be hard. Tiny. <laughs> oh, no, stunning. Ooh, yo, yo. Ah. Could have, could have. Oh, no. <laughs> I've had some uh, crazy landings in the mountains where I've actually made it, found a clearing. That's cool, yeah. At least when you give up, the left wing give up and... Uh... Okay, that's bad. Oh, that saber up above me is very menacing.
I'm going to run out of fuel any second here. Yeah, if the EWR was working, Turtle would be killing me right now. Pardon the sound of my eating stream. I took off with a bowl of porridge in front of me and haven't had time to eat it. Whoa. There goes my engine. I let them know you're up. And looking for a place to put her down. Looks like it's going to have to be a field. Oh, there's some roads down there, but they're very... Lots of switchbacks for the mountains. Watch out. I'm going to take off uh, Russian's time. What's Russian style? No flap. Ah, interesting. Russian airplane, uh, really, they, you don't need a flap to take off. Yeah, I only use them if I'm carrying drop tanks. Yeah. Okay, I see a road I'm going to try and make. Wish me luck. We'll actually put a notch of flap out here. I think I've got a bit too much altitude. Oh, although maybe pull that in because there's going to be gear, right? Gear out first. There's one. There's two. Oh, they are slow. Okay. So what's happened is when you take off Russian style, it's quicker. So what you do... Stand by, I'm crashing. <laughs> ah. I'm hitting the... I think I might actually make the road. Well, I'm, right gonna, I'm gonna wait at base. And I'm right next to a radio tower, so I'll be able to make a phone call. <laughs> In the 50s? <laughs> yeah, there's probably a little guy who mines the shack. So you see what you do? 
you take off clean. No, you take off no flap. Landing, stand by. Oh yeah, wait till you see this. Nice. Oh my god, that was perfect. No flap landing. <laughs> Okay, that's one for the record books. This is going to be a good video. <laughs> that's cool. All right, real quick break, and I'll be right back. Roger. Oh, that feels good. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Nice.